the 5th of August 2024. That's a day that will be etched in Bangladesh's history forever. That is the day when Sheikh Hasina, who had ruled the country for over 15 years, had to flee Bangladesh. Remember, weeks of violent protests led to the deaths of over 500 people. Since then, Muhammad Yunus has taken over the reins of a country whose economy, political stability, security remain shaky. In the latest, turning his focus to Sheikh Hasina, calling her public remarks an unfriendly gesture. In an interview with PTI, speaking from his official residence in Dhaka, Yunus criticized Hasina for making political statements while in India. He claims that her silence is necessary to prevent discomfort for both India and Bangladesh until Dhaka decides to formally request her extradition. In the interview, Yunus stated, I'm quoting, if India wants to keep her, the condition is that she has to keep quiet. Now, the question we are asking is, why is Yunus so focused on silencing Hasina when his government should be addressing the core issues facing the country? And there are multiple of them, by the way. In his interview, Yunus wants the world, particularly India, to abandon the idea that only Hasina's Awami League can prevent Bangladesh from descending into chaos. He even suggests that without Hasina, Bangladesh would not, as some fear, turn into another Afghanistan. He further states that Hasina's silence would have allowed the people to forget about her. Had she been quiet, quote unquote, we would have forgotten it. People would have also forgotten it, quote unquote. That is what Yunus said in the interview. In his interview with PTI, he also seems to have referred specifically to her August 13th statement. Yunus claims that her words are creating discomfort in both India and Bangladesh. Despite repeated attacks on Hasina, she has chosen not to respond directly, at least not yet. The world has so far largely heard her version through her son. Both Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and US President Joe Biden, remember, have expressed concern about the situation in Bangladesh, with both of them emphasizing on the importance of protecting democratic institutions. Bangladesh is yet to have a clear path forward for dealing with its crisis. One of the first things on priority for the interim government was to hold general elections in Bangladesh within three months. There seems to be no sign of this. Even worse, Yunus has publicly stated that until necessary reforms are met, are made, elections will not be held. As per Yunus, the reforms need to be executed in administration, judiciary, the election commission, electoral system, law and order. These could take months and even years to achieve. The other main issue for the interim government was to protect its citizens. Repeatedly, there have been attacks against minorities, remember, especially against Hindus in the country and those affiliated with Hasina's party, the Awami League. The matter is yet to be resolved completely. And then there's also the aspect of the rise in extremism. The interim government, remember, has lifted a ban on the Islamist Jamaat-e-Islami party and released pro-Al-Qaeda chief of an Islamist outfit. As per experts, all these measures do not invoke confidence in the interim government. Yunus's efforts to silence Hasina may temporarily shift the conversation, but they will not solve the underlying core issues that his government is yet to address. If Yunus truly wants to lead Bangladesh out of this mess, he needs to focus on delivering results, not suppressing dissent. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.